Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at which Android emulator runs PUBG the best. Is it going to be Bluestacks or Nox Player? I do not know, but I am going to run both Android emulators on the exact same settings, and we're going to run PUBG in game graphics settings on the exact same as well to make it a fair match. And there we go, that is the results for the test. Obviously Bluestacks won by miles compared to Nox Player. On Nox Player I did get quite a lot of lag as well when I was playing. I don't know if you noticed the frame drops a lot as well. But Bluestacks, it really did run smooth. So if you do want to play PUBG on your PC, then I definitely recommend Bluestacks. But the only other differences are Nox Player does not let me set the game graphics to high as it says it's not supported yet on our device and also we cannot change the graphics to HD as it says the same message but with Bluestacks we can actually whack our graphics settings all the way up to high HD and realistic which is really good but the only other thing I did notice in Bluestacks but you can do in Nox Player if I just close down PUBG for a second and go to the top right hand corner of Bluestacks and go to my engine, if I change it to DirectX graphics mode and just restart Bluestacks quickly, as you can see in Bluestacks it comes up with a message saying unfortunately you cannot play this game, your graphics card doesn't support this game in DirectX mode. But with Nox Player I can actually play PUBG in DirectX mode. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.